Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> Long day. Me too. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of here. Same, same. You got any plans for oh. the weekend? What's it? What is it? Uh, my roommate invited me to a speed dating thing. That sounds fun. I mean, if if you're ready for that sort of thing. Anyways, I should Don't take care of this. Don't worry about it. I got it. <laughs> Thanks, you're the best. I'll see you later. Hey there, Harry Pitts. Making progress on that one, I see. I don't know what you're talking about, Frank. Hey there, kiddo. It's okay to have a little crush on someone. Listen, you can get any girl you want. Because you are number one. Well, thanks, Frank. Uh, uh, uh. You have to grow a pair first. Oh! Then you can get any girl you want. Are you ready to have an awesome night? Mm. Luke, it's Friday. You know you want to come. There's beer here, man. What if I told you you could have beer and chicks if you come with me right now? Sunset speed dating. Oh. <laughs> Spaghetti really isn't my speed. Mm. It's, it's open. open. What's crack a lackin', gentlemen? Hey. <laughs> What's up with the button down, y'all? Mm. Oh, my horoscope said I should dress to impress today. Mm. There's this little thing on Sunset. It's supposed to be some cute chicks. You guys want to come? Sure. Fun. Sure, why not? I hate you guys. <laughs> The guy that wore pinstripes with plaid? Are you kidding me? What is he, a formal lumberjack? I don't get it. What is he gonna do, cut down trees? Or is he here to woo my lady? Apparently, it's the latter. Okay, okay. So fun. Send your name. Send your name. You are. No, you, okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Because I met someone great, too. Uh, Paul. Paula. Paul, Paula is wonderful. You just, I'm gonna go work. I'm gonna go work. You just stay home. Think about Paul laying on your pillow, which I bought. Has he been laying on my pillow? Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to Sunset Speed Dating Spree. Yay! Ladies, 
Take your seat. And let's meet your match. I hear the rules. You get five minutes. Each day lasts five minutes. And when you hear a bell, and when you hear a bell, gentlemen, please, please rotate to your right. And ladies, stay there. All right? Just stay put. And let's begin. Let's do this, shall we? So what do you do? Uh, you know, I'm a bodybuilder. Yeah, you know, I work out. You're so huge. Hi. Hello. You know, that shirt looks very becoming on you. Thank you. And again, if I was on you, I'd be coming too. Get out. And Luna can be kind of the moody one sometimes. <laughs> oh. And then PB and J are sisters. <laughs> when they're crawling into my purse when I'm about to leave, it's so cute. It's like they're saying, don't leave me, mommy. <laughs> Is it true cats have nine lives? Have you, like, have you tested this theory? What do you mean? Well, if I were to take PB and throw her off the top of a building, could I do it eight more times before something happened? Hi. <laughs> I'm, uh, Harry. Olivia. <laughs> um, I'm an intern at the hospital. Oh my god. So you're gonna be a doctor, right? I have a question. At what age specifically will my fertility rate begin to decrease? Uh... Because I've been super nervous about it, you know? I think I'm just ready to jump into parenthood. I read a few articles that said at age 25, your ovarian cycle is at its prime. But by age 30, it's all downhill from there. So, what do you think? Next person. What do you do? I'm a personal trainer. I try to kill people through exercise. Hello, sweet siren of death. It's hard to believe that the way we live our lives today is but a mere speck on the history of the Earth. But if we live our lives as the belugas and just find our tribe, to keep on swimming through this ocean of life. We'll be okay. Oh. That's, uh... Wow. I just, uh... Keep moving, man! It's cool! Ding, ding, ding! You're done, buddy. You're so done. Come here. Oh, you want? Oh, damn it. How are you doing, Kip? I'm good. Really? That's great. Yes, I'm. How is she? She's perfect. Working out every day, lots of men callers. Beautiful men callers with abs of really steel. Died. Seriously, how is she? 
She looks like you. Sad. But she's ready to move on. Unless you want to step up and fix things. So do you want to fix things? Or are you just gonna give up like everything else in your life? Next Tuesday on Outturns, while we were all at speed dating, Roxanne had a little too much fun. And Kip, well, he has some scary dream about a Ouija board. <laughs> what a baby. All of us leave Kip at home and go about our day and meet Elizabeth, Luke's crazy co-worker. Ooh, it looks like love is in the air. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Kip. Stay tuned next week for episodes 8 and 9. What a treat.